425 Park Avenue is a significant location. The prime location is Park Avenue itself because it is probably unique in the world in terms of being an urban modernist creation. So it has a life, it has a scale, and the first thing that 425 has to do is contribute to that urbanity. Then secondarily, in the spirit of those individual buildings, Seagram, Lever House, Pepsi Cola, now Olivetti, are individual buildings which have their own identity and which contribute to the public domain. So the second aspect of our design is that it should bring back something to the community in terms of public space and beyond adding to the urbanity, respecting the sight lines, uh, those planes which define Park Avenue, it should also have its own individual identity on the skyline. In the spirit of New York skyscrapers, and one can go back to Hugh Ferris, uh, those extraordinary images, they're typified by setbacks. And here those setbacks are also working in terms of the kind of spaces that the developer, the patrons behind this project, can offer to the market. We're making the core compact, giving it its identity and articulating that from the main body of the space. That is working visually from the outside. It's working in terms of sustainability and it's also creating much more flexible, manageable, appealing spaces. All these features come together to give it lead gold status. As I look back at the experience of the project as a competition, working with David and his colleagues at LNL, um, a great total team, as that team expands to embrace the city and to demonstrate the way in which this building, not just at the ground level in terms of the public domain and public space, but the way that it can contribute to the wider entity of the city. That's really exciting to look forward to.